So recently I wanted to buy a power bank for my HTC One M8 but I actually couldn't find any review of them in English so I had to choose by myself. And here is what I've bought. It's a 12,000 milliamp battery and now I'm going to show you what's actually in the box and going to make a small review on how this device works and what are the things you should know about. Well, please keep in mind that it's my first review and a video like that on YouTube, so it won't be anything professional. So, everything you can see right now comes with the power bank. Well, here are some adapters. Those are for some Apple devices. Wait, where are they? Where are they? Here they are. Okay, ah, I took it out by mistake. Uh, so there are some for old Nokia phones, even for Sony Ericsson. And of course there is a micro USB port. Over here, ah, it can't focus. Okay, anyway. So here are the cables you get with a power bank. This one is being used for charging. Remember it needs to have a mini USB for charging. It's not micro USB. Uh, if you can see uh, it won't focus. Okay, now it's got it. And you got an extra short cable for charging your device with a micro USB port except that yeah we've got a box uh, some advertisement from the company I bought it from well the bill it actually cost 60 zlotys so it's like 19 dollars for today and of course we've got the power bank So, $19 isn't so much and probably you will notice that at the beginning because the English text that is written here on the back there are some mistakes like for example it's not normal it should be. And now I'm going to talk about the device by itself. So it's actually a first day I've got it and I haven't charged it yet. It had about 75% of battery. That's what it's what it actually showed. And I could charge up my phone for about 70%. But I won't judge it yet as it hasn't been charged until now. Well, the battery is completely empty right now, but I'm gonna do a next review in next few days, in few days, well, eh, anyway. And I'm gonna tell you about how long it lasts. Is it really 12,000 milliamp battery or is it some fake? And what I wanna test if it's actually 2.1 ampere. So it should charge my device fast as HTC One M8 probably supports fast charging but we will see in few days. Well and here is how it looks like when it charges. The cable is short that's why I'm doing it on the floor and the on the beginning all of the LEDs were blinking like from the left to the right side but now only the last LED on the right side flashes and that's a bit strange but we will see how long it takes to charge I will probably take it out tomorrow morning okay guys so here is another part of my review of the power bank battery so first charging took about 12 hours on my HTC's charger which is 1.5 ampere and in, it indicates it uh, that is fully charged by 
turning on all of the LEDs and they are not blinking. So now I'm gonna show you a few statistics how the charging works. Okay, so as you can see I've been charging my phone for about an hour and it, it has been only able to charge it up for about 32% while, uh, while using the 1 amp slot. And here are some other screenshots and this time I've been using the uh, 2 amp slot. Also, I've been charging the device for about an hour and uh, as you can see, it's it was only able to charge up my device for 34%. So there is actually no difference at all. It's not 2.1 amp, they're both the same. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how this device works and check out if it's able to charge two devices at the same time. So now I'm gonna connect my phone. Wait a second. Now into the battery. Mm -hmm. It's a bit hard to do with one hand. Yeah. Okay, it's connected. So now I turn it on. The, all of the LEDs are on yeah and the phone is charging right now that's the way it looks like when it's charging uh, and now I will connect another device all my headphones and let's see if both devices will be charging mm, yeah, Okay, it's a bit tight, but yes, the phone is charging and the headphones are also charging. Okay, sorry for this interruption, but I didn't have two hands free, so I just paused the video. And I will show you what happens if there is no device to charge. So, I'll power it on, we'll wait a couple of seconds and it should automatically turn off will it? it always did, yeah, you see, now it's off and about this 12,000 milliamp battery you might be probably thinking that it's fake and you're completely right that's not 12,000 milliamp battery that's like one fourth of that, so about 3000 because I've been only able to charge up my device more than one time so about 120% and the HTC's got 2600 uh, milliamp battery and uh, one more thing, second charging took only about 4 to 5 hours instead of 12 hours like it did the first time. I would like to disassemble this device but it's glued together and I'm unable to do this. There are no screws so I could unscrew it. Yeah, so it's just another fake from China. Thanks for watching.